parents yet again having to have this difficult conversation with their children after this horrific tragedy. Doctors we spoke to say the number one thing is to make sure that your kids feel safe. It's a tough conversation, how to talk to kids after this unspeakable horror, but experts say it's crucial. They really need to hear from parents that they are safe, and there's lots of ways to tell that to kids. Dr. Erica Lee, a psychologist at Boston Children's Hospital, says as kids are processing this horrific tragedy, use your words to establish a sense of safety. Letting them know that you're doing everything that you can to protect them, that you would never send them to school if you thought that they were going to be unsafe, that the school has a good safety plan. Doctors say it's not just your words, but physical soothing as well. Dr. Kadisha Booth Watkins, psychiatrist and associate director of the Clay Center for Youth Healthy Minds at MGH says it's vital for parents to manage their emotions before approaching their kids. They feed off of us, they cue off of us, and so if we're not in control, we are going to be unable to help them manage their anxieties and help them uh, gain a sense of calm and safety. Dr. Booth Watkins says it's really unfortunate that we're having this conversation yet again, but it's important not to become desensitized and complacent about it. Maybe remind them of in the grand scheme of things, although it seems like we're talking about this all the time. You know, this is not happening all the time and, and in most places, so really kind of help them put it into context. And doctors say if you notice a change in your child's eating habits, sleep, and if they're having a hard time going to school to go ahead and seek further guidance. We're live tonight. Nathalie Pozo, WCBB News Center 5. All right. Important information, Nathalie. Thank you.